This video is the second part of the one titled Creating a Macro in MS Word in 5 Minutes that reads and validates an EDI file. The first video has a program similar to what I'm running now that displays an EDI string in its raw format. Just like this as shown here. As you can see, the document does not make sense if the EDI file is read as is. So this time we will show you how to make the EDI file more readable with just a few changes to the program. Okay, let's create a new macro and name it read EDI file 2. Let's start off by first copying the program of the first macro. And then pasting it to the procedure of the new macro we are creating. Okay, now we can start a modification. First, let's remove sections of the code relating to EDI validation because we aren't doing that here. So now we are left with this part of the code that basically displays the EDI segments as is on the Word document page. So let's change this line so that what we display will be more easily understood. This time we will display the segment's ID and their description, as well as show the value of their data elements separately, like so. The segment count is the number of elements in the segment. And the loop iterates through each element so that we can display their value onto the document page. Let's also insert a line to display the description of the data element. For example, if we bring up the eFile Manager, the descriptions that we will be displaying will be these. And just for the purpose of aesthetics, let's bold the values of the data elements, as well as add a carriage return line feed so that every element starts on a new line. And to have less clutter, let's put a condition to only display data elements that have a value in them. Okay, let's save and run this macro and see how it looks. It's done. Let's scroll up to the start of the transaction set. Now we see that the document is so much easier to read and much more sensible compared to what we viewed in its raw format. In its raw format, we can make out what this BIG segment is about. But in here, we can now see that the BIG segment is the beginning segment for the invoice. And this is the invoice date. And this is the invoice number. And this is the PO date. And this is the PO number. However, there are code values like this SE, which still does not make sense. So unless we know what this code means, we still don't know what this name and address is referring to. So let's modify our program a little more to include code descriptions. First, we declare some code variable objects. Then instantiate the code objects. 
Then we create a condition to check if the data element's value data type is ID. And if so, using the code map description method, let's get the description of the element's code ID value and display it on the Word document in squiggly parentheses, like so. Now I think we're done. So let's save this and run it again. When we scroll back to the code value SE, this time we see the description selling party next to it. So now we know that this name and this address is of the selling parties. And the next instance of the N1 has the ship two's name and address. And that's how easy it is to make an EDI file into a readable, more understandable and user-friendly document with the Eddy Dev Framework EDI component. For more example programs, go to our website at www.edidev.com.